you're gonna see how I transform myself from this into this hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here feel free subscribe join us if you must today we have a different video today we have a much different video than we normally have we have a makeup tutorial i never thought i would be doing a makeup tutorial ever in my life but why not give you guys one y'all talk about my makeup all the time so i just went ahead and changed my shirt because um that yellow was not given. I touched up my hair. Not a lot, as you can see. Before I even do anything, I'm going to go in with my Aquaphor. And I'm just going to put that on like so. I'm trying to sound like a beauty guru, but I'm not a goddamn beauty guru. Who's been doing makeup since, I think, like the second grade. You want to moisturize your face before you even put a speck of makeup on. You can tell if you ain't moisturized your skin before you, you put your, your stuff on, okay? We we don't have time to look cakey or um, dehydrated. Says you do not want to look like a dried up fruit. Next step is your primers. You want to prime your face even though you already prepped it kind of with the moisturizer you still want to go in with your primers this is how i get like a flawless freaking base i know y'all seen the makeup i know y'all seen the makeup on my channel y'all be commenting um and this is exactly how i do it i take like four four different primers because why not so the first two that i use is the benefit professional and this is the hydrating one and then i use this Gor gorgorette kingler i think that's how you pronounce it um this one is actually not mine this is um my cousin's and i always take it so i could you know prep my skin because this right here miss or mr garrett um works wonders on the skin and this one is another hydrating one so then i go in with my mattifying primer so i have put the garrett um actually it actually looks so nasty <laughs> This is how I do the e.l.f. poreless one. I just place it in like areas, like my T-zone areas, where I'm more likely to get oily. Again, I am not a beauty guru. Um, I just been doing makeup for a long time. Okay, so for foundations, I have all four of these. It's also more over there, but um, I have my two drugstore because not everything has to be high end. But then again, I do have my high-end foundation. We have this Morphe one. Uh, I think I'm going with this one. Again, you don't have to use high-end products, but I, I'm i just I'm going to because I love this foundation and I recommend it to everybody who likes a full coverage foundation. I just put it on something because I really don't like the, um, it be staining my hand and I hate that. But now I'm going in with it and before I get to my neck, I just like to blend it on my face and then after I'm finished, I go down on my neck. And it may look deceiving on a camera, but I can assure you this is literally my face color and I have eczema, mind you. So like this part of my neck is kind of deceiving from this part. So yeah, but we cover that up with foundation. look how flawless that is that is so freaking good that foundation is so freaking good do y'all see this this side i mean this side she's cute too but like this side so now i go in with the anastasia contour palette they may range honey anastasia did their thing when it came to this palette and I'm not gonna lie and I think I think people are asleep on it so and then I go like that like do you see that like girl what then you know you want to touch that lace and I don't want to look a different color here and my lace is not not the same complexion and then I just like go on a jawline and just contour the jawline. Now we're about to take that same foundation brush and we're just gonna 
blend it, but we're going to blend it down. You don't want to blend it up because, honey, you don't want, no, it's, it's not going to look cute. It's not going to look all put together how you want. So I personally just blend down. I mean, if you have like some up here, I guess you could just pat it. And again, like this freaking hair. But well, I've seen like for my reaction videos and the reason why I don't really like answer comments all like that is because some people are actually really like rude in a comment section. But the reason why is because most of the comments I get aren't the most nicest. Um, comments they always like question why am I doing this if you've seen the comment section and actually looked in it and you will see exactly what I'm talking about again that comes with being like a a youtuber or a reaction youtuber which when I created this channel it actually was not for reactions the whole Mari's Reactions name, that just popped up in my head. It wasn't that I wanted to, well, I did want to do reactions, mind you. But like, it wasn't just to do reactions. It was just to do anything I wanted to do. The whole meaning behind Mari's Reactions is literally because it just rhymed with Mari. So I was just like, Mari's Reactions, why not call it that? And that's what I end up doing. I, I base this channel off a safe space for myself, at least. I have one of the hardest times finding like jobs for me, at least, because of who I am as a person. Uh, it's very hard to find jobs and, you know, feel safe in those jobs. So I created a whole channel based off you know, um, feeling safe and I don't have to hide anything from anybody. Oh, I'm going in with the Morphe concealer in the shade C3.25. I think I said that correct. Mm -hmm. And I'm just placing it like above the tannish concealer, that, that golden concealer that I put under that's underneath it, I mean. But it's a freaking fly in here that keeps flying in my god face. Now we're about to blend out that. You do want to like get that side of your nose because honey, once you put, I learned my lesson, once you put powder on top of it and it sits and you can see like this, it's not cute. It's not cute, especially if you're taking a picture with the blush, you can see everything. And then I'm also one of the people, I also blend that concealer on my eyes. I don't have to add too much concealer when I do eye, eyeshadow. You want to blend to the point you see a blank canvas. Now I'm going to go in with this, I don't know if y'all can see it, this little um, Morphe cream blush and take that same uh that same beauty blender and we're just gonna pat that and then I don't know if can y'all see it it's actually really pretty hold on I think y'all can see it now it's really pretty and I just take that like back this way I don't ever go up here I just always keep it to where it's literally going back because once you blend up, hun, um, you won't like the look. You'll be ready to take your makeup off the second after. Now I'm gonna blend it like with the, the brush. See, it's that fly again. And we're just gonna, you wanna blend it with the brush to, you know, you don't want no, no line of where you put it always blend it more with the brush after you finish like applying it with the sponge okay now it's my favorite part and i'm going to take the powder and we're going to set the face 
again for like the i don't know how many times i said it you don't have to use high-end products you can always use what works for you because everyone's skin at the end of the day is really different they may take drugstore products more than high-end products you know everyone is different everyone has a preference on what they they like mm, it tastes so good this is not even my powder again it's my cousins i've just been taking it to um use for this i was using like the maybelline fit me powder which was also really really freaking amazing i'm gonna take it like this and put it on the back of my hand and you can find like these things from like amazon if you will hold on because your girl almost forgot honey you want to blend those creases make sure you blend all the creases because honey you cannot go back after you um put this powder on so after i got all that i'm gonna take i'm gonna stop talking I'm a bit heavy handed with powder, I'm not gonna lie to you. And so I also like take that same powder and like the rest that's left on this and I go in on my eyes and pack, you know, that up too. So it's no creasing on there. I, again, I am not a beauty guru, so I couldn't even tell you if I'm even doing it right. But I've been doing it this way for a long time, so I don't know. Here, I just make sure I press it into the skin so that it's not going nowhere. Honey, take me swimming on the first date. The makeup does not come off after I'm finished. And that's a fact. Because um, you learn from me, you take any advice from me um, today, your makeup ain't coming off, okay? Your makeup ain't gonna crease, okay? I may not be a beauty guru, but I'm <laughs> I'm one today. Here's the part where um your girl gets a, a bit heavy handed. Um, I have smile lines, and in order to stop me from smile the well not stop it, but like reduce it by a lot, it's about to get crazy because I just go like this, like literally all the time. Like on this part, if you have smile lines, um, don't be afraid to do that because, honey, it's it's gonna help. And make sure you have a good good powder to do it with because some powders may leave like a, a white thing over on the side of your mouth, and it's not cute. It's again, I learned my lesson because, honey, all the times that yeah, I had my I had a past. I had a past. I'm also not one to like set the, the whole face. I just really like set the areas where I put the um, concealer. Hey, my favorite, no, um, powder is my favorite part, but I would say like, I would definitely say bronze in my face is another favorite of mine because I don't know, I just, I love the way that it looks when, if you, if you, bronze your face you know exactly what i'm talking about because let me show you let me show you and i take these two right here I'm just gonna i pat i don't brush i just pat it into my face you could follow my advice or you can you know do you and just go in but i feel like it leaves me with a much smoother like face if I just pat it, like, do you see that? Do you see that? And I'm not smiling because I want to, you know, make sure. I'm smiling because this looks good. And now I'm going to go on with the forehead. Sorry if my hand was in the way. I just got to make sure I'm doing it perfectly. And that's the another thing. I always think things have to be so perfect. Like, I don't know. Maybe that's the Virgo in me. 
and I didn't like start claiming that Virgo side like my moon sign is like a, a Virgo and I didn't start claiming that because what I didn't know anything about like a moon sign or a rising sign until like a month ago and yeah I, was, I thought it was so fake but then like I could see it like everything it was saying I was just like okay you might have a point you might have a point because not too long ago well still I am like the biggest perfectionist like um self-critical like I'm so hard on myself like you should see what goes on before I shoot those reaction videos like I normally have a breakdown. I talk to myself to make sure I'm getting everything right. Girl, um, I give myself hell before I actually go in and do the videos. Which, I like it. I don't mind it. You know, being hard on myself really helps me out a lot. Especially if someone else is trying to to judge me already and girl you can't hurt me because i be hurting my own feelings and i do it for fun now i'm gonna go on with that draw line and just you want to blend in that honey now i don't recommend because i know some people might go in with like a, a dark 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 um bronzer or like a contour stay away from the dark dark ones Honey, honey, I mean, if it works for you, but honey, for the people, like the newcomers of makeup on who I'm teaching today, stay away from dark, dark colors, okay? If you're not afraid and you just want to risk it all, baby, go straight ahead. I'm not knocking you. It just better be blended, okay? You better make sure that face is blended, like... And you don't have to like go on down a neck, but I do. So I know that everything is like <laughs> sister snatch, like James Charles said. What? And now I'm gonna take this Beauty Bakery blush that is so, so, so beautiful. Hold on. I don't know if y'all can see it or if it does any justice on camera, but this blush is so freaking beautiful. I'm not going in with that wrong blush. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with this one. It's broke. Like, um, <laughs> sorry. But I'm gonna call it a kabuki. Shit. <laughs> I'm gonna call it a kabuki. I'm gonna call it a kabuki. However, you say that goddamn brush. And now I'm just gonna. Like, do you see that? And for the girlies out there who don't use blush, I was once with you. I was once with you, but then I had to step away. It was when I was seeing her do her makeup because she would be on FaceTime doing her makeup. And I would see how it looked and how the blush just brought everything together. And honey, I had a lot of blush. Girl, I, I came to the realization that I'm literally going to be like one of those ladies who wear like hella blush. And you can go in with a little blush or a lot like me. I didn't say you were learning from a beauty guru. I didn't say that, okay? I did not mention that in this video. Okay, so now I go in with my setting spray and get like a mist one. I would not recommend getting like a a powerful, like a water hose type of um, setting spray because, honey, those ones are too powerful. And if you have your hair done and you ain't trying to get it wet, those ones gonna wet your hair up like you in a goddamn shower. Now we're gonna take several several spritz y'all ready i want to be drenched i want to look like poseidon i want him to marry me and make me a mermaid am i ready for my close-up and see how it leaves me like glowy and i didn't even put on a highlighter i didn't even put on a highlighter what okay so this is what the eyebrows are looking like and now we're gonna brush them out but I would definitely say um don't brush them out 
too much because you don't you don't want to look like Frida. Well, sometimes I might be going for her, but like I'm not going for her today. Today I was thinking more like Corella. but much nicer Corilla eyebrows. Okay, dogs. I don't mind y'all barking, but like, control yourselves. You know, F the people who say, don't take that to the front part of your brows. Honey, if you don't know how to do it for yourself, don't tell other people not to do it. So now I'm just like, blending out the concealer with a brush i know some people take like sponges but honey um we ain't doing no sponges over here to blend out girl that's gonna look like 2016 and we ain't in that time no more So after the eyebrows are, you know, intact, I'm going to take that same powder that I had used to, you know, set my concealer and set my eyebrows. Okay, this is a trick you can do if your eyebrows is too dark, which mine's are not dark, but they just need powder. So I'm just going to tap, 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 tap lightly, okay? Don't tap hard. Like you literally won't like the outcome if you tap hard. Your concealer gonna smear and it's it's gonna be a mess, hun. It's gonna be a mess. So just tap, 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 tap. You should come out looking like you know Santa Claus for a second, and then you wanna take like a brush, a little dust the way. Oh no. I just call it a dust away brush and just dust that powder away is what I meant they look a little bit more natural and then I will be setting my smile lines once more and you know and then I'm about to show you a little trick you can also do to make that powder stay in the smile lines which I'm about to do right now so smile and then place that powder right there when you, cause it gets into like the the lines. Like, do you see what I'm talking about? I don't know. And then do the same thing so over here. And then I'm gonna start right there again, cause why not? Um, so it should look something like this. So when you smile, you really can't see the, the lines. Now we are about to move on to the eyes, which is probably everyone's favorite part. And I'm not gonna do too much, just so you guys get the hang of it. I'll do too much next time in the next video. This is from the Transitions palette. This is the Transitions palette from Dominique Cosmetics. Again, for like the 50th time, you don't have to use high-end products. But I'm gonna use that. And that's gonna be like a, um, crap, what did I, transition? I don't know. Crap, I never forgot the word. <laughs> How horrible of me. <laughs> Situation. And then you see, like, ah, uh, it looks already so good. I can already know what it's going to look like. Now I'm going to blend it outwards because I like my eyeshadow to, when I'm doing it, I like it to come out like so, if you will. And I think I want to, like, add, like, rhinestones. I'm not sure. And plus, I'm a blingy person. I love, I love, like, Anything that blings, those diamonds are a girl's best friend, and I will vouch for that, like Marilyn said. So, yeah. And now, we will go on with, like, the lid. I'm going to use, 
I guess I'll use something like this. I'm y'all, I'm not gonna lie to you. I just use any brush because at this end of the day, it all does the same thing. And then I'm gonna use like this little, I don't know if y'all can see it. This it's like a crap, y'all can't see it. It's pointless to even show. But as a little lid color, it's gonna be like this soft nude. I think I want to go in with a brown like eyeliner and so I'm going to use this NYX Cosmetics Epic Wear Waterproof Eyeliner in the shade Brown. Oh, I just said the shade. But now y'all come in real close because I am going to be free handing this. Hopefully I'm not shaking as much, but I'm going to do it. Did it come out all right? Oh, it came out really good. I'm not even finished with that. And now I'm gonna go in. Eyeliner is one of those things your girl is always gonna shake, but I'm always gonna get it right, you know? Whew. I'm feeling like a, a smoky type of mm, situation. Now we're about to smoke it out because I want it to like create like a smoky type of situation. We're just gonna, you know, make sure it's easier to blend out by just move my lash, blending out the edges so it's not like really like a straight line. So now we're going to use hmm, this darker brown shade and I'm going to mix it with this almost black color. And we're just going to pat that one. And wing it out. And get some more of that. And then we're gonna come back to blend it. Don't worry. You could leave it as messy as you, you like because we are coming back to blend it. So it should look like something like this. Hazelnut. We're just gonna blend it. Okay, so now I'm going to take this Huda and we're going to go in with a hmm, sparkly little situation. We're just going to put that right there. Right where we put the, um, the crab. What was that? The white color? Well, the nude. And it should look something like this. So now for the waterline, I go in with this Anastasia gel liner to, you know, get that. See, it's coming together. It's coming together. So now we're about to go in with the mascara and we're just gonna, you know, prep our lashes to put on our lashes. Just gonna coat it. Or if it isn't coated enough. Now for everybody's favorite part, for everyone's favorite part, I'm going to take the highlighter. This one is part of the Michaela collection. Well, collab with Glam Light. And when I tell you, this is the most pigmented highlighter there is in the market. Like, look for yourselves. Look, hold on. Like, do y'all see that? Literally, I'm about to show y'all. Like, what? Oh my God! Dang, like, honey, let me turn down the light so y'all can like see this. Oh my God, y'all. Then we got, what? And did I lie? Um, Y'all, what I tell you, y'all have to find this freaking highlighter. Now it's time for the rhinestones. 
we're gonna take our lash glue sorry this video is kind of like all over the place but like who cares place the glue where i want it like the rhinestones to go obviously we're gonna do one right there one right there another one right there right there right there right there and see how that looks so this is what it's looking like i'm gonna go ahead and do the rhinestones off camera because this crap is very hard to do on camera so here's what the rhinestones are looking like i had to turn down the light so you guys could see it but it's looking like that it's really pretty actually now that we have that we are gonna apply the lash glue and i don't apply the lash glue to the actual lashes i always apply it to like my eye the water is that the not the water line the crap y'all about to see now we're about to um apply the lashes watch this watch this because hold on So, did we get a gay foot? I can't even finish my sentence because, like, this movie looks so good. This looks so good. But now it's time to get into the lips. Girl, once you see this lip routine, you will never go back. I normally just go in with, like, a darker, like, a really dark foundation to do my lips because there's not enough lip pencils on the market for darker skin complexions just to put that out there so if any inclusive brands want to you know make a a lip liner that can actually you know help us out us you know brown skin women out that'll be really nice and i do overline my lips just to put that out there i do overline them Like I start at the bottom. I'm about to overline the top. I don't need to overline my lips, but I just, I love, I love that. I, I mean, my lips are already full, don't get me wrong, but like, I love that full, full, full brat style look, you know? Overline those lips to the gods, honey. If you're gonna overline them, make sure you do it right. So this is what it should come out like. Um, it actually looks really good. It looks really good. And once you have the lips, I'm not coming for anybody, you know, who has the lip filler, but like, once you already got the lips, ah, like, this looks really good. I could leave it like this and just put on lip gloss, but we're not gonna do that. So I'm gonna go in with the NYX Butter Gloss and show y'all how it's done. So it's just gonna... Y'all, when I tell you... And just press in. And then we got that. And now I take a lip gloss. Well, actually, like two lip gloss. I take this Iconic Linden lip gloss. You can find a dupe for this with the Milani gloss, actually. Or NYX. So I'm going to go in like this. lips want those brat stall lips <laughs> that got fly is in my video again this is from the hair store you can find this at any hair store um near you you can even order these off amazon and these cost less than i think two dollars if you want that glossy glossy lip 
these are really good for you. So I'm just gonna go in with that and then and then basically <sighs> you're that girl. I'll get back to you once the hair is finished and everything is just complete. All I did was take that the clip out. That's literally all I did. And I think she may be complete. What do y'all think? Okay guys, there you have it. That was the makeup tutorial for today um, on this really, really pretty look. Thank you for walking through this with me. Um, much appreciated um, if you stayed to the end of this. I don't know, um, I always talk nonsense at the end of these videos. Um, but if this helps you, you know, give it a thumbs up, give it a, you know, make sure you subscribe though. Make sure you subscribe. And if there's anything else that you want to see or you want to learn, you can always put it in the comments and, you know, I'll be sure to look at it and do it. But until then, besties, bye.